everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today i am going to show you all of the eyeshadow pans that i have hit in the last quarter of the year so that is july through september um i have done videos for the first and second quarter of the year i will link them down below or up in the cards now in the first two quarters i was really into hitting pan and uh, i did a a to z project pan with just eyeshadows um, and i have later introduced pan those eyeshadows now for this quarter um things got a little bit slower um last quarter update um my cat is playing with something and i don't know what it is Wait, let me check. I should have started this video out with the disclaimer. If you hear anything, it's my kitten. Um, yeah, she is currently playing with the back of a dart board arrow. What is that called even? Uh, anyway, if you hear her, uh, that's what that is. <laughs> she has proven that cat toys aren't that interesting is things that aren't made for cats that are the most fun. Wow, beautiful. Okay, and she's taking it into the hallway. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Uh, last quarter, I had a lot of um, matte cream eyeshadows that I was working on and rotating, rotating through as I hit pan on them. Uh, and that has also slowed down, so a lot of the numbers from the last um, updates were quite easy shades to hit pan on and those are getting less and less in my collection. So we have a total of 12 pans hit these last three months, which isn't bad. It's just a lot less than the previous two quarters of the year. Anyway, let's get into all the eyeshadow pans that I have hit. This quarter. Okay, so the first palette is my Nabla Dreamy palette. This palette was a whopping five times in my last uh, quarterly pan video. I hit five eyeshadow pans in here last update, um, and I hit another one this time. And this time I hit pan in the shade Metal Cupid, which is this darker um, red shimmer. As you can see, I mean, by now you've seen this palette a few times on my channel. This palette is very well loved. Um, the mattes are quite hard to hit pan in, so the last three mattes without pan and also this shimmer I'm not really using. Uh, I think those won't have pan anytime soon. All the others, I am definitely expanding the pans and still very much loving this palette. So that is the first one. Um, and also I hit that pan naturally. It was not in projects, so that's that. Whatever you would call that. The next one I also used just because I wanted to. Uh, and it is for my ABH Nervina palette. And I hit pan in the shade Summer. And nice that one. As you can see, not the first pan. I have pan in Dazzling. And these two shades were in the A to Z project. But I now also have pan in Summer. Then I hit pan in a shade from my Colourpop Lizzie McGuire palette. And I hit pan in this shade, Dear Diary. I don't know if you can see that. That is a tiny pan. I have been using this in my Pandas eyeshadows. And I wasn't able to hit pan in it uh, through that project. But I continued to use it and I was able to hit pan. Now, some of these eyeshadows, you can see that I'm using a very tiny detailed brush. And that's why the pan isn't as big but I still count it as pan. Um, I'm not in any way trying to really force to hit pan, but shades like this, like this green, I, I don't normally wear them all over my lids. 
I, I'm saying this while I'm currently wearing green <laughs> all over my lids. Um, anyway, so I use a, a pencil brush and use it on my lower lash line, which is why some of these pans will be very small. Um, but yeah, that's, that's why. Next is a single shadow from Glam Shop. Am I gonna show this whole palette? Yeah, that's just, this is the palette that it's in. And uh, it is, how can I see this? This shade right here, which is uh, called Luxury Velour. And this was in my Pam Nose eyeshadows. A few of these, actually I think all of the eyeshadows in here that have Pam, except for the matte cream, were at some point in my Pam Nose eyeshadows. So that's kind of funny. Um, so again, that's another one with Pam. Then I have two more actually from Glam Shop, but these are in my smaller palette. And I have Hit Pam in wink and mix and i was just using these on my own this is the shade wink and this is the shade mix also again a tiny pan but there is pan then i hit pan in the shade for my colourpop new mood palette and it is the shade moody which is in the corner right here and um, this eyeshadow was in a pan those eyeshadows and I wasn't able to hit pan in it through that project but I continued to use it until I hit pan. Then a pan in the Inner Trans palette from Colourpop. I hit pan in the shade All Aura again and this was in my deck of panning project pan and it is the glitter that's in the middle. There you can see, that's the pan. And another color pop. This is from the Child palette. And I hit pan in the shade Precious Cargo. Again, this is a tiny pan. These shadows are really deep. I use this as an inner corner highlighter. So there's like a crater in there. And then a tiny speck of pan at the bottom. Um, this wasn't in any project. I just decided to start using it as an inner corner highlighter until I hit pan. And then another color pop palette. This is my Aha uh -huh Honey one. And this also was in my deck of panning project pan. And I hit pan in the shade Palooza, which is also a glitter. Then I have a shade from my Zueva Blank Fusion palette and this is the shade Travel Inspired which is a matte cream shade. There is a pan. As you can see these pans are quite deep so this took me a little while to hit pan but I'm happy that this has another pan. And then lastly from my Zueva Caramel Palette. I hit pan in the shade Universal Delight and that is right here and this shade was in my pan those eyeshadows I wasn't able to hit pan it uh, through that project so I decided to roll it out and it actually only took me two or three uses after that to hit pan so Kind of sad that I didn't leave it into my Pan of Shadows project, but very happy to have hip pan in this too. And those were all the 12 eyeshadows that I've hip pan in. Um, for the last quarter of the year, I'm not sure if I'm even gonna get um, to 12 pans, but I'm still working on a few eyeshadows in Pan of Eyeshadows and also on some matte cream shades. I still have a few left that. I could hit paddle. So we will see what I can do for the last quarter of the year. Uh, overall, I think I've been doing pretty good with hitting pan and eyeshadow. And I'm also hoping to start some new projects uh, anytime soon. So 
If you like this video, please um, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment telling me what was the best eyeshadow that you've hip had on this quarter. What was your favorite eyeshadow or was it an eyeshadow that you really wanted to hip had on and you finally did? Let me know and I will see you in my next video. Bye!